So I've got this ice pack. It's a, like a shoulder back waist. You can use it a lot of different ways. But a brand sent me this ice pack thing that you can actually wear instead of, you know, like in the past, whenever I needed an ice pack after like a football injury or something like that, you would have to get some ice, wrap it up in like a plastic baggie, put that a towel around that, hold it in place, just lay there very still, making sure it stayed exactly where it was supposed to go. And it just got boring and that this is going to take care of that. I'm gonna be able to work, I'm gonna be able to walk around, do all that kind of stuff with this thing on. I do lifting and stuff right now, uh, especially on after leg day, after some really heavy squats. I do lifting and stuff like that right now, especially after like a really heavy uh, chest day. My left shoulder will be killing me. So this thing's gonna be perfect for that. I'm definitely gonna be using this. But let's go ahead and uh, get it unwrapped. You actually have to soak this thing in water for the, the gel inside to kind of soak up some water and that's gonna kind of facilitate the the ability for it to work. So it does come with some instruction. Go ahead, I'm gonna soak this in the water just like this. Okay, so it's been sitting in here for a while. This towel here, give it a good pat, dry off. And now we're gonna put it and throw it in the fridge. Okay, so I'm throw it in there just like that and let it get cold. Okay, it's actually the next day now. I just got this thing out of the fridge. It's nice and cold. See how much bigger it is now after it's soaked up some of that water. And we got our two straps on now. See the smaller one? Obviously it's going to go here. And there's only one of these on the, on the bottom part, so you're going to kind of wrap around with that. And then your bigger one is going to go here. So what I've found, the easier way to do it as far as your shoulder goes is go ahead and kind of put it on like this so you can get where you want it on your shoulder. And then get your strap on the back. I'm going to have my lovely wife come over here and help me strap this one on. Kind of wrap it around. It's a good thumbnail right there. And there we go. Now I'm nice and mobile. I can, if I need to, you know, I can work on my laptop. I can get up, I can walk around. And this thing's going to stay right where I need it to. Mostly uh, I can think of like rotator cuff type stuff. Um, and sometimes you, like in the old days, put a big ice pack on there, tape it up. You can't necessarily do other things while that's sitting there. It's gonna either gonna fall off or it's gonna be very uncomfortable. Not with this thing. It's nice, cool. And also you could like wrap this around your back. Um, I can't do my back with it because this one's a little bit small for my shoulders. But you can do your upper back with it and kind of keep you cool during the day. If you go outside, I can pick up. I go out on my boat. It's hot then. But another way you can do this is on your knee. Okay, so for your knee, I'm actually going to take one side of this big strap off. Put that there. So, with one side off, I'm just going to kind of wrap this thing around my upper leg. Just like this. Do the same thing with the bottom portion. wrap it around like that and you see it's kind of it's cut here so you can still walk around it's not going to go anywhere and you make it even tighter if you want but again you can be mobile with it there's a couple other places you can go lower back if it'll fit shoulder this shoulder uh, both legs will work but pretty cool little ice pack a lot better than the the traditional kind and it can be used for heat as well. Throw it in the microwave for, um, I think it was like a minute or something like that. You have to read the instructions to look exactly when you need to do it. But you can use it for heat as well. But I think it's pretty cool. I'm Jace. I'll see you next time.